There's currently an epidemic of physician burnout. And we think that if we teach compassion to medical students and physicians, we can make a big dent in improving this. The T. Denny Sanford Institute for Empathy and Compassion in the UC San Diego School of Medicine has two main objectives. The first is to provide the neuroscientific basis of compassion, to actually study compassion like any other neurocircuit, whether it's smell or taste, to use the most advanced imaging, the most advanced state-of-the-art um, genomics, metabolomics, big data analysis, in order to understand compassion. That has never been done. There's never been resources for that. The second, and of equal importance, is actually to apply that to education. medicine as a profession is really all about compassion. And the problem right now is that the systems that are in place in medical training and in medical practice really cause suffering in the people who are practicing medicine, and it makes us lose our compassion. I think the implications of this gift are enormous, particularly because the stakes are so high and the situation is so grave right now. Because if your doctors aren't well and they're leaving, who's left to care for everyone? So the bottom line is, we'll have people in the Institute who devote their life to understanding the brain basis of empathy and compassion, We'll engage in experiments that help us isolate those properties of mind. We'll engage in training programs to help them enhance them. And then we'll let all that come together to build training programs for physicians and scientists and really the rest of us that allow us to say, if you engage in such and such a kind of training, we know on the basis of the way that your brain works that you're being more effective, you're more at ease, you're more aware of your own concerns, your own issues, but also of those that you're interacting with. I think one thing that's really important is that we change the people who change the system, who change the culture, who change the expectations. So if we believe that we can create a better, more humanistic, caring system, one in which the physician and the patients are partnered together towards a common goal, then we can. So what we believe inside becomes reality on the outside. And a place like UC San Diego needs change makers like Danny. And one might wonder, why UC San Diego? And I can tell you the answer, without any doubt, is only UC San Diego. We were the first place to define cognitive science as a discipline. Uh, we have a great program in neurobiology and biological sciences, neuroscience in School of Medicine, psychiatry in School of Medicine, psychology in School of Social Sciences. So I can go down the list and this institute is gonna put it all together and go from the basic understanding at the cellular level to the highest level of emotion, feeling, memory, cognition, empathy, compassion. And this is the only place to do it. This place, perhaps like no other, can mount an effort that makes the world a better place for all of us to live in. That's exciting. The idea that many years from now, we'll look back and say, that was a key moment in really the history of neuroscience, but more generally, in our ability using rigorous science combined with behavioral interventions to really understand the mind and make it possible for people of all persuasions and all levels of society and all job descriptions from all cultures to really for the first time have the hope that they can empathize effectively and reach out with compassion to those that are in need. <laughs>